Ayo Balogun is popularly known as Whiskey, and this guy is known as one of the most successful artists to come out from Africa. This guy definitely has not taken the easy path to career success as he's known to come from the streets to the successful place he is right now. Whiskey is definitely a proper example of the streets to the world because he has taken his art to the world stage against all odds. So in this video, we are going to be talking about 10 things you did not know about Whiskey. So if this is the first time you are seeing this channel, and kindly hit the subscribe button and like if you enjoyed this video. In 2018, the United States Governor of Minnesota, Mark Dayton, officially declared October 6th as the World's Whiskey Day in a document signed and published by him. In this document, he cited all the historical feats achieved by Whiskey, the likes of Whiskey being the first African artist to sell out the O2 Arena in 2018, Whiskey become the first African artist to grace the runway for the international fashion brand Dolls and Gabbana, and series of awards he won, including the three billboard awards and he said whiskey has influenced minnesotans and other musical fans around the world as one of the biggest cultural influencers of time he was a praise and worship singer at his local church in Lagos, having been brought up as a church boy. As a kid, he was a member of a church band called The Glorious Five, and he himself was called Lil Prince. He went further to record a seven-track album, and that spelled out the beginning of his illustrious career, as the album made them their first 10,000 Naira. <laughs> and you know how much 10,000 Naira was by that time. And he was reported to be around 11 years old when he accomplished this with his group. Like my dad just comes to, you know, swagging and that stuff and I remember, I can't check this man out, like. This kid's early fashion sense was hugely influenced by his father as he said in an interview that he was a great admirer of his dad's dream and he always wondered how his dad came up with dress patterns earlier in his life. Later though, he named Fire Williams as his style icon. He went further to say that his style is a mixture of modern and streetwear and traditional Nigerian clothing which explains the fact that one came from his dad and the other from Fire Williams. Guys, do you know that Whiskey's song Essence debuted on the Billboard Top 100 in July 17, 2021, making him the first to bring a local Afrobeat song to the singles chart in the United States. He even went further to crack the top 10 of the Billboard Top 100, got nominated for the Grammy with same song, and became the longest Afrobeat, or they also called it R&B song, to be on the chart, because the song had been on the chart for more than 52 weeks. Arguably one of the most influential songs of the last decade is the one dance song done by Drake and Whiskey. Whiskey became the first Afrobeat musician to appear in the Guinness Book of Record after the one dance song became the most played song on the Spotify with over 1 billion streams. Whoa. This song released in 2016 went further to top the Billboard Top 100 for 10 consecutive weeks and also became certified for a whooping 4 times platinum in the United Kingdom, becoming the first African base artists to go multi-platinum there. Whiskey started his tertiary education in Lagos State University and later transferred to Leeds University where he again dropped out, choosing music over school. He later said he has no regrets stopping school for a bit as he gave him the time to focus solely on music career and said he would definitely go back to school as he holds education with very high esteem. But I know that dream is far gone now as I don't think Whiskey is presently thinking of going to school again. Just imagine the made in Lagos school now going to Unilag at this time. His first breakout song was his future on MI's first album on the song Fast Money Fast Cars in the year 2009. MI definitely played a huge part in discovering Whiskey and even wanted to sign him back then but decided to go with a rapper instead, signing Ice Prince and then introducing him to Banky W which then signed him and that was the beginning of the what we call Big Wiz right now. 
Even though Whiskey released his first professional album in 2011, which was his superstar album, it was previously known to be a gem in the music industry for a long time before that. Previously known as a studio rat because of his presence in all studio sessions, quietly learning the art of professional music. Even as he was used as an errand boy and he was patient enough to wait for his time. During this period, it was said that Whiskey was in the studio when Nigerian icon Tubaba was working on his first album, Grass to Grace, and also had a shared section with OJB. Whiskey has had an illustrious career, owning luxurious cars and even a jet. In fact, in 2022, Whiskey shocked the musical industry when he bought seven luxurious cars in one day. Cars that include a Bentley, Mercedes, Maybach, and even a Ferrari. But it didn't start there. Whiskey got his first car in 2011, which was a black Honda Accord. And at this time, he celebrated it like he had the most expensive car in the world. It's a Volkswagen. Yes, yeah, it's convertible. And then we got six loader. In April 2012, Whiskey signed his first international deal, which happened when Yemi signed a joint deal with Akon's Convict Music, and also went further to do his first international collaboration, which was the song remix Don Doll, which he featured the Convict Music manager, Akon. Big shout out to Whiskey on the career he's having, and guys, if you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video. Peace.